showcasing at the People's History Museum is a stir fry book that I've made and one of the slides of the stir fry book says until it looks like this which is the title that's been used for the exhibition. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is actually my very first book I read when I was a teenager, rolled that, and then I went on to reading like Charlie and the Glass Elevator, that led me to the BFG, Matilda, and on quite a few of those. What I feel inspired by is like knowing the colours in the film, like bringing all the colours, like the magic of the film, trying to bring that into my clay, like to emphasise the magic that was there, but without going like too much into their detail, but using my own interpretation. Um, I feel really excited. Well, I'm really glad that my work's out there for people to get to see and enjoy it because it makes me feel like I'm helping other people. It makes me feel proud of myself for the work and it's just good to share my work with other people. Um, I got the idea for my sensory quote um, at the, um, up from my baby sister who was visually impaired and I, I looked at what she could say and included them in the quilt and she liked the feel of different materials so I included lots of tactile things in the quilt as well. I feel like when people come to see my work I feel like I'm, it's finally getting out there like some like in some way some like barriers are dropping because I'm autistic and, I'm, and I feel like if without the help of like organisations like Venture Arts, we won't get our work out there. So I feel like I'm proud to represent them through my work and for us to be able to speak to see to inspire other people what we can do. Well, Venture Arts has impacted my life by making me feel that it's okay to be a bit crazy because my work is crazy. Sometimes being crazy is a good thing. I love working with clay because I feel like I'm on with the earth with it. I feel more relaxed, like it's safe, I'm stressed out, it's one way of de-stressing myself and taking all my worries away and, I can, and sometimes the clay can be stubborn, like sometimes the monsters will want to come out or sometimes the bars won't come out and you just keep trying. It's like instead of like, you can just, say if you make a mistake, you can just re-roll the clay back into a ball and remake it again with paper. You have to chuck it so it's more like what I call environmentally friendly to the earth and that so it's a lot more easy to use and things like that. <laughs>